Here is our enzyme. You can see where it's blue right here. That's our active site. And our active site is kind of round, kind of like it would fit something like this, which is our substrate, which also is round, kind of similar in shape to this active site. So here comes our substrate. It binds to the enzyme at the active site. And look at that, it's a perfect fit, almost like a key fitting into a lock. This here is our lock and key model. So substrate comes, same size to the active site, binds perfectly, and once it binds to the enzyme, it produces our two products. Here's our enzyme once again. It looks a little different this time though. You can see that this active site on this enzyme is much more pointed than it was on the other model. So because of this pointedness, when this round substrate tries to fit into the active site, it can't bind perfectly. So what happens in our induced fit model is that the substrate comes and it sort of binds to the active site. And that is when the shape of the enzyme and the substrate start to kind of change. And they start to almost like accommodate for each other's shapes. So that now the substrate fits nice and snug within the active site. And once again, now that the substrate is bonded to the enzyme, our two products are formed. <laughs> Finally, I'm going to show you why it's important that you eat your vitamins. Because your vitamins help your body produce what are called your coenzymes. So, if you take your regular enzyme, you can see here that it has this shaped active site, but it doesn't fit perfectly with our substrate. You can see here that there's this part that is unbound. So your coenzyme, which is right here, comes along and it binds to the active site right here. Now you can see here it's bound to the active site, but it's actually not gonna catalyze the reaction. No, no products are gonna be produced just because this coenzyme is bound. But now that this coenzyme is here, your substrate can come along and now it fits perfectly into the active site. And because the substrate is bound to the enzyme, now your two products are produced.